I mean, the feeling you get uh, every time you come to Loretta's. You know, I've been coming even even since I've quit racing here in '96. I've came every year, but but once since then, and I'm always excited to come. But uh, this year's a little more excited. I think the kids were excited as well. You know, 10 hours 10 hours in the motorhome was a long time. And we just got here, rolled in, no problems. A little bit of drama, trying to get the thing leveled out. But once, uh, once we got set, plugged in, we were, uh, we were good to go. Saturday, hung out all day long, took the kids to the creek. Uh, we did that several times during the week. And I'll tell you, the kids had a good time. And it was a little cold. I mean, I think it started at like 10 in the morning on Sunday, and the line honestly looked like it had to have been at least three hours long. So I was like, whoa. I'm like, I'll just wait till like 30 minutes before closing. Went down there about 30 minutes before closing, and it was still looked like it was gonna be two hour long line. So not gonna lie, I might have cheated. Was able to uh, kind of bypass the line and get signed up. The little girls giving out the bibs, knew me, were big fans, so that was pretty easy for us. That's it. Now we do practice, should be fun. I think 11 o'clock on Monday was my practice. It was cool, you know, uh, went down there, hopped on my bike, I had never ridden, working good, all the controls were good, and uh, went out for my practice. There was a ton of guys out there. I think there was 95 guys. It was 25 plus, 45 plus. Between us two combined, that was 80, and then we had 15 alternates, so uh, 95 guys on there. And it was a little wet, so uh, some of the guys were struggling a little bit, so I gave them plenty of room. And I don't even think I did one fast lap in practice, but nevertheless, it was a good time. Uh, great to be back out there, and uh, you know the anticipation slowly started to, uh, to set in a little bit. Tuesday was uh, it was race day. I think my moto, my first moto was at 4:30, and not gonna lie, anticipation's building more and more and more. Just uh, basically the the unknown. That's what was kind of running through my mind. Uh, not really knowing what to expect. Seeing all the fans, you know, I roll up the pro circuit, everybody's there. I mean, I literally, I felt like I was at a national. Went to the gate, we had to draw chips. True chip number 15, had the 15th pick. And uh, so I was like, all right, we're off to a good start already. And, and uh, couldn't wait just to let the gate drop and go racing. I got behind and I could just feel my, my brain just kind of click into the mode that it used to be, you know, when I was racing nationals. Just forward thinking, anticipating where guys was going and how could I get by these guys in front of me as quick as I could. And uh, that's how I exactly did. It was in the lead before uh, we completed the first lap. Got to thank all the fans. I mean, they were cheering, they were lined up four or five people deep all the way around the track. It was really cool. It was a fun moto. You know, all the butterflies were gone and anticipation and just doing my thing and having a good time. Put in five solid laps as hard as I could and was, you know, pulling away from those guys second and a half, two seconds a lap each time, clicking in some good lap times and totally in my zone, not really trying to beat any lap time records or anything like that. It was, and that, that, that was my game plan, just to ride, uh, ride in my level and, and have fun. The whole time I'm just totally focused on what can I do to position myself to get the best start so I don't have to pass so many guys and yet like I said rip the whole shot that was my number one game plan just didn't really get it done and I thought I picked a really good gate and uh, basically what it boils down to is just honestly my bike was just too fast I could not keep the front wheel down and uh, it was probably the easiest race of the weekend for me I think within three or four corners I was into the lead uh, track was almost perfect I put in some really strong laps and uh, rode about five six laps hard and put it in cruise the last four laps and uh, just just enjoyed myself you know my, my whole expectation through the weekend was to uh, just ride in my zone and if anyone pushed me you know I'm gonna let them go their speed you know I passed those guys a second moto quick put in five six good laps and cruise to the win awesome again got to the podium kids were loving it uh, it was exciting Let's hear it for our moto winner, Ricky Carmichael.
this is like redemption. It's the last time I'm going to be able to try to pull the whole shot of the weekend. And that's the biggest letdown for me of the whole weekend is not getting a whole shot. Got first gate pick again. Got to make this happen. Thought I picked the best gate again. And uh, needless to say, did not do it. Uh, very frustrating. So I get out. Uh, Sleater's in front of me. Make quick work of him. And uh, Robbie Raynor, in typical RR fashion, goes blowing by me and uh, set me up perfect. Put a great pass and uh, got by me. So I was like, okay, I'll just follow his lines you know I'm just gonna uh, do my thing I wasn't really in a must situation but the guy was killing it man and uh, he had some good lines uh, and I just followed him was in no hurry and just actually just wanted to race with somebody a little bit so I was able to get by him and then kind of checked out but it was fun for four or five laps but uh, nevertheless we got the uh, job done still pissed I didn't pull the whole shot but uh, was happy to get back on the podium like I said for my kids that was uh, really exciting to get them up there at the number one play they got another medal my little girl got to hold the sword that they hand out and uh, got to spray some champagne kids really love that uh, I tell you what my little uh, my little girl was pumped she uh, she thought that was so cool and they never really got to experience that when I was a professional as well so uh, you know just the whole feeling and the whole experience that they got made it well worth it for me it's uh, you know I was happier to see them enjoy it than I was for myself it was all about the family all about the fun coming out uh, and experiencing Loretta Lens in a different light. Got the championship and uh, it was fun. And, and, and the, the biggest thing is the fans loved it. Everyone seemed like the vibe was good and, uh, and uh, really just speechless about it. Yeah, it was good, really. It was good to see. I kind of figured he would be clean race between y'all two. He's always Yeah, that's good. Good job. The god dang cameraman would stay out of my face. And yeah. <laughs> He's always in there, yeah. If he can put it down and help you out. <laughs> All right. Hey, the road is over, baby. Next to the road will be back home. Everything's good. Didn't miss a beat. And I think the crowd loved it, and I loved it. And ready to go drink a few coolies now.